<laughs> this is bad. If you own Equinox stock, you've experienced a bloodbath today. But rest assured, you're not alone. I'm a major shareholder myself. What's behind this avalanche in the share price? What happened and what does it mean? We're going to talk about it in this video. The shares are down almost 20% today in the U.S. market, dropping from a little over $5 per share to now just being a little over $4 per share as I record this video. This all had to do with a press release, which they put out last night, a convertible debt uh, instrument that they were issuing on a bought deal basis. I'll let you read into all the details, but why? Why did the market react in such a negative way to this announcement? There's a couple things about it that could actually be positive, but a couple that could also be very scary, which I think explains why the market reacted in the manner in which it did. Basically, let's start with a positive. We'll do the two negatives, and then we'll end with what could be a super positive out of all this. Again, this is all pure speculation and analysis analysis on my part, but essentially, from a positive perspective, they could simply just be refinancing some of their debt that's coming due in early 2024. I've heard several analysts talk about the fact that that could very likely be why they issued this debt. That wouldn't be a big deal. Actually, it could be considered a smart move because they got a very attractive rate on this convertible debt instrument, which they're going to be issuing here later in the week. However, let's move on to the big scary prospect, the one that is likely the cause as to why the stock has dropped almost 20% today. Is there trouble with their giant Greenstone project in Ontario, Canada? That's a massive mine that they're building. All the other miners that have been building mines in the last two, three years in that area, most of them have experienced significant price overruns. Now, we've received press releases from the company as early as I think, or as late as like August, early August, saying that they're on time and on budget. I heard Ross Beatty in a very recent interview uh, bragging that they were on time and on budget. And I don't mean that in a bad way. I love Ross Beatty. Uh, and as a stockholder, I love to hear that the Greenstone mine was on time and on budget. Also, they just wrapped up a series of site tours to which I was not invited. <clears throat> Maybe next time you might want to consider uh, one of your greatest support orders to be invited to the site tour but nonetheless they just wrapped up bringing a bunch of big investors analysts i don't know because i wasn't there but they had a bunch of people at the mine site checking out checking it out and the stock had been doing very well over the last few weeks and even days so this prospect that there could be trouble at the greenstone mine to me that seems minimal i can't believe that they would have you know talked about it, had press releases, even brought a bunch of analysts up there, and then suddenly here at the very end have some bad news to announce about the Greenstone Mine, but that's not out of the realm of possibilities. Another negative possibility is that maybe everything is fine at the Greenstone Mine, but are they having major issues at some of their other operations? They have a number of other mines, Mexico, Brazil, even a couple in California here in the United States are they having problems with their mines in Brazil? Are they having problems with what has been kind of a problem child mine uh, in Mexico? We don't know because we've not received any communication. But those are the two negatives. Big problem at Greenstone, which I don't think is likely. Possibly other issues at the other mines. Again, you know, hopefully that's not the case, but that's, I think, a little more likely than problems at Greenstone. Now, let's talk about what could be a real exciting prospect. If you're looking to buy gold, silver, or platinum, do yourself a favor and check out Pimbex, the online precious metals bullion dealer and sponsor of Ron's Basement. I was a happy customer before they offered to support the channel. You'll find they have the best prices, 
quality, and service. I think Pembex is best, and you will too. And be sure to tell them that you're from Ron's Basement. I'm just speculating here, but I did listen to Ross Beatty in a recent interview, and he mentioned the idea of continuing to grow the company and at some point doing some acquisitions. We know the big uh, Denver Gold Show, Denver Gold Forum, whatever whatever it was, just wrapped up. We know that that's a, uh, a show where a lot of uh, companies talk to other companies about potential acquisitions. Could... And again, I don't think this is the case, but could Equinox be cashing up because they want to take advantage of what are some astounding deals available right now in the junior mining sector, in particular in the development sector? Are they looking out to the future uh, and are things going well? Think about this. If they were to announce an acquisition of a development project, that would signal to the market that, yes, indeed, things are going well at Greenstone. And, yes, indeed, things are going well operationally at our other mines as well. That could signal a great, uh, or could be a great signal regarding uh, the health of Greenstone and the health of the other operations. And this thing could turn around on a dime. I don't know really which of those three or four uh, uh, potential uh, issues or potential uh, reasons for raising this money are the real reason. I think the company might want to communicate a little further with the market in terms of why they were doing it. I think they basically said it was to either pay off debt or use for operational type uh, uses within the company. Nonetheless, it's been a horrible day for Equinox investors, me included. I hold what to me is a significant number of shares. Hey, if you want to look at a company that's not in the mining uh, activity yet, but has a ton of gold in the ground in Canada, you might want to check out channel sponsor First Mining Gold. They've got two 5 million ounce projects, development projects in Canada, one in Quebec, one in Ontario, and they have four other projects to which they are partnered with other companies on or own outright themselves. This is a company that already has gold in the ground, and right now they're in the exciting phase of moving it through the development process, permitting, financing, all that. Catalyst rich uh, as we move into the next year or two. Again, that's First Mining Gold. They're a channel sponsor. This video was about Equinox Gold and what has been a very difficult day for anyone who invests in the company. 20% loss is significant. My heart goes out to you. You're not alone. Don't forget it, I'm right there with you. Like I always say, mining stocks are risky, but big picture, I still believe in Equinox. Uh, let me know what you think in the, uh, in the comment section below. Take care, and I will see you soon.